स्वागत है आपका द वेंकटेश शो में द शो विच ब्रिंग्स यू द मोटिवेशन एंड इंस्पायरेशन बाय कनेक्टिंग विथ रिमार्केबल इंडिविजुअल्स दिस वीडियो इज स्पॉन्सर्ड बाय हॉस्मार्ट हेल्थ केयर हॉस्मार्ट हेल्थ केयर इज अ वन स्टॉप सोल्यूशन फॉर यूर ऑल इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर एंड द डिजाइन रिलेटेड क्वेरीज हॉस्मार्ट हेल्थ केयर ऑल्सो हेल्प्स यू to run your hospitals in a professional and successful way so we'll start uh, this show with uh, mr patel mr patel is one of well known uh, hospital architecture no, sir so uh, mr patel sir my first question to you is uh, tell me something about your journey about yourself uh, you know what is your background and then how you started your you know startup or this organization namaste thank you but okay sir uh, about myself uh, in a earlier video we have elaborated about my life journey and everything so today yes. we'll talk about my say qualification and educational as well as professional journey profession journey yes so having worked with various top notch architects here in mumbai as a as a employee mm-hmm. we could learn a lot and later on then we uh, i was part of a very large corporate hospital into the project department where my partner mm-hmm. dr rathod he was into the management right so we always had this dream that we should have our own organization that is focused on healthcare pra- healthcare practices healthcare planning and designing infrastructure construction as well as operational aspects of it mm-hmm. pandemic hit us very right. hard covid yes covid and uh, that that was uh, that was another learning experience i would say that during pandemic also we worked really hard as a frontline worker with pp kit and everything mm-hmm. to develop another set of 100 beds within the same corporate hospital mm-hmm. very challenging it was our labor used to run away out of fear we had to really bring material from various sources many challenges many challenges so which which again give us a good boosting that if we can work in pandemic times right we can really do better in whenever the pandemic is gone in normal days and luckily we are out of it and now we are functioning fast mr pate do you think uh, the healthcare system has been changed before covid and after covid what absolutely absolutely it has changed there is a immense amount of importance given for air con infection control or say air quality aha uh-huh. within the healthcare premises it has been there the all the guidelines that we follow they have been written since long they tell us about the importance of having a extremely clean habitable mm-hmm. controlled air quality within the premises before covid mm-hmm. it was already there but it, i would not say they were that was bad but now it has been given sufficient importance i would say mm-hmm. not only hospitals but commercial premises are also giving sufficient importance for indoor air quality mm-hmm. because we spend all of us who are into the job scenario or uh, into the offices we spend almost 90% of our life indoor and the indoor air quality with air conditioned environments with the materials that has been installed within the prima- the whole quality of air is much bad or worse against anything we are facing now pollution is already there right right outside the pollution is immense right right vehicles the construction is continuously going on in all the cities okay uh, we are having lot of vikas mm-hmm. practically uh-huh. and that results also into a good amount of pollution yes Absolutely. but yes. it is inevitable vikas has to happen and the construction will definitely will happen and some day uh, again there are ways and means to construct buildings and construct everything infrastructure mm-hmm. with uh, reduction of pollution they will also eventually learn it and probably do things better yeah yeah so yes uh, pre covid situation and today healthcare planning designing approach mm-hmm. and importance to various aspect it has changed right. tremendously yes my second question uh, to you mr patel is that uh, you know tell us your success stories like how you started uh, what kind of project you have did we were involved into large scale corporate hospital construction of large scale corporate hospital as well as public sector hospitals uh-huh. 
so it was a good learning and good hard work we kept doing and then we started like this is how smart healthcare we just registered our company and we said let's do this mm-hmm. so obviously we didn't get any 500 bed hospital as first we started yes so we really started with as small as a dentist clinic aha uh-huh. and the uh, overall budget of the whole clinic was about 4 uh, 5 lakhs that was interesting <laughs> so anybody would say uh, it is a sort of a shocking situation uh-huh. that you are working on a 500 crore project but but you were employed there right, right. <laughs> and when you are out and and but we always kept this mind uh, this in our mind that we have to work in this healthcare scenario right when you ask tell us your success stories i would say all of us who are into entrepreneurship or businesses we should tell more about our failure stories right right so we failed a lot in the initial period so our startup is around 2 and 1/2 year old now mm-hmm. the first year was good good amount of failures uh-huh. and fortunately unfortunately but more fortunately we met all the wrong people in uh-huh. the initial period uh-huh. so we never knew how to do a business we knew we knew about our own technical subject right. we knew about how to design a hospital in a standardized manner uh, joint commission international is a right. good uh, guide reference to build the best quality yeah, nabh is a good book national building code ipch standards australian guidelines all these are what you say uh, technical data or technical richness that we always had had but we never knew how to run a business that's true yes and we failed mm-hmm. tremendously yes. we had we failed a lot but that was a learning path i think yes so we are happy that uh, we chose a field that we are happy to fail within that <laughs> yes i think that that would be so you have seen both the ends both the ends yeah, yeah. and uh, god has been kind on us we have been receiving good challenging projects mm-hmm. so what type of projects we did is we did clinics mm-hmm. of very small size okay we also did 100 bedded 50 bedded hospitals okay starting from selection of the particular premises or land till execution handing over we were also part of the whole uh, what you say celebration of inauguration mm-hmm. thoroughly involved with the client so you started from scratch and you delivered the delivered the whole ready made project mm-hmm. now this is ready to be used and we see we look them back and saying they are doing really good right whatever our contribution to the project because doctor once he wants to build a hospital he has been dreaming about it for 10 years long term yeah, yeah. Definitely and we yes. come up to his dream or in in his journey after a lot of period of his thinking right right and contributing to that dream is what our target was uh-huh, uh-huh. and whatever they needed is very necessary okay okay so related to this uh, you know uh, discussion my next question is uh, mr patel is that why someone should contact you what kind of differentiate uh, or different service services you are providing to the doctors and to the hospital community fantastic fantastic question because we have a combination of a doctor who is 25 years experience in running the hospital mm-hmm. he has done all the technical aspects of functioning as a doctor as well as a management professional who mm-hmm. has run a show of a hospital for 10 years okay so he has seen ups and downs of any healthcare business uh-huh. in totality right. he is aware of where should be money should be spent to build the infrastructure mm-hmm. an architect myself who has been into designing hospitals for last 12 years mm-hmm. so we have designed small hospitals till 500 bed till 700 bed hospital in various organizations mm-hmm. for various entities public sector entities as well a uh, a uh, uh, any private hospital or a private doctor will never build a thousand bedded hospital on his own that's true yes but public sector has that capacity and intention mm-hmm. and need right so we have worked in that sector also so this combination is working very well right right because any doctor coming to us saying uh, i want to build a 100 bed hospital but dr ratha would convince him and tell him that no the position the sector mm-hmm. and the area where he is functioning a 150 or 200 bed hospital is needed oh that's the actually or the other way also sir uh-huh. it is not like uh, 100 bed hospital is getting built mm-hmm. 
let's build it and wash our hands. Right. No. Right. We will guide the doctor. Dr. Arthur will guide them. Nahi. Aap yahan pe 50 bed ka hospital pehle chalao. Right, right. So you empathize with the... Yes, we empathize and, and we, we become the part of full thinking process. Uh-huh. And that is working out better because see, there are many architects functioning in Mumbai. They are doing various kind of projects. Uh-huh. Their aesthetic sense, their uh, design ideologies mm-hmm. and they are successful in that. Where we come into as an additional, what you say, expertise is mm-hmm. we have worked in a functioning hospital. We know the pain points. We know what all areas are required for a particular type of uh, zone, let's mm-hmm. say clinical zone of operation theatre. Mm-hmm. There is a there is a very technical approach to whole planning aspect. There is a patient flow. Absolutely, yes. There is a staff flow and there is a utility flow. Right. So utilities, patient and staff should cross in a minimum manner. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Why all this mm-hmm. is to control the infection. Patient is already uh, immunocompromised. He is going to get catch up any smallest infection coming to him uh-huh. when he is getting operated. The body is getting opened. Yes, yes. So the operation that is already technically correct and clean, right. clean room. You are talking about hospital related infections. Yes, yes. hospital acquired infection, cross infection, airborne infection. There are okay. various terms under which uh, it is getting categorized. Mm-hmm. Somebody is going to the hospital for just uh, tooth extraction and getting tuberculosis. Yeah. So you mean to say that mm-hmm. that you know part also you consider while obviously, the... obviously that is our what you say uh, expertise US, and US additional uh, uh, technical expertise that we get into. Mm-hmm. Advantage is we have been to the into the subject for a long. Mm-hmm. So very uh, convenient for a doctor client to communicate mm-hmm. their ideas very easily. Right. Right. So you match the uh, doctor professional uh, frequency. Uh, you we try. <laughs> we try our best to do that. <laughs> so my, I think related to that discussion, uh, the second question would be, how much it will cost uh, to build, let's say, hundred bed hospital? So can you throw some light on that? Abs- absolutely yes. Uh, we we are building really a, a low cost model uh-huh. that is focused on a on a on a project where the premises is rented out by the doctor okay because obviously mm-hmm. he would like to spend minimum mm-hmm. into the fixed infrastructure he is not going to get it back uh-huh. plus we are working on a project where whole new building is getting built mm-hmm. for a doctor for their next generation doctors mm-hmm. so there is no compromise per se yes, on the yes. budget but to build any 100 bed hospital uh, on a, on a barren land or empty land, okay. we call it a green field project uh-huh. or even a brown field project per se, you can count around 1 CR per bed. 1 CR per bed. It's oh. a ball, ballpark figure. Okay. Now it is also depending on the specialization that you embed into that. Uh-huh. Cancer care, machineries itself are into crores. Yeah, definitely. Yes. So that yes. way, but it can be done with uh, 50 to 60 lakhs per bed also, okay. not okay. an issue. Right, right. Understood. Uh, I think you know uh, India uh, has uh, some good hospitals. Also, in some cities, uh, they need some hospital infrastructure. So how do you see a future of hospital infrastructure in India? It is changing rapidly. Uh, I'll tell you, we have travelled Pan India. We are doing project in Congo. Mm-hmm. We are doing. We are thinking of doing project in Guyana, South America, as well as Belize near Mexico. Okay. So there are discussions happening, probably we'll start working on the projects also okay. in West Coast Africa. Uh-huh. But particularly in India, because healthcare is a need, okay. right. yes. it is not a choice. Absolutely, yes. A small, uh, not a small, but a developing town like Raipur mm-hmm. would require five large 500 bedded hospitals, yes. practically. Yes. yes. Uh-huh. Who is going to fund them? It is going to be under CSR fund of a very large con- uh, so company mm-hmm. or it will be funded by the local state government or funded by the central government. Mm-hmm. But yes, there is a need mm-hmm. and we are there to basically take up all scale projects. Mm-hmm. We have all the technicalities. We have a very good team mm-hmm. who are passionate about healthcare project. Right. It is very necessary because it is research intensive subject. Mm-hmm. Yes. You I cannot. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right, right. 
you need passion yeah. you need passion you need passion to uh, study more learn more and then develop the solutions yeah yeah how do you see uh, your organization uh, in future or in, you know in next 5 years what's your ambitions so far 2 years have been really learning experience we we learned a lot we learned a lot we are learning more and we are getting good challenging projects ha 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 so as i see next 5 years will be expanding uh -huh. we'll need more manpower more uh -huh. expert and passionate people under us and we'll be doing all possible large scale projects with all possible technical expertise related to cancer care name it and uh, we should be there mm -hmm. next 5 years we'll be doing mm -hmm. all large scale healthcare projects even small scale healthcare projects plus mm -hmm. there will be a team there is already a team mm -hmm. who are it's a fantastic team who is working on defining the operational aspects of the hospital also mm -hmm. you also help healthcare professionals to run their hospitals in professional and uh, successful manner yes sir yes so can you elaborate on that yes definitely definitely uh, dr ratod who is my partner he is the right person to answer this question but mm -hmm. on his behalf I would like to elaborate that we completed two of uh, mid-size project, uh -huh. our about 50 bed project uh -huh. here in Thane, one in Boisar, uh -huh. and uh, Dr. Atwood has been guiding them to run the show mm -hmm. practically. Mm -hmm. So he has been there. He knows how to run a hospital. Which all specialization should be brought in? What is the disease profile of the area? Mm -hmm. Plus, he is connected to all the doctors. so he can request a particular specialization a doctor to come down and function in a particular premises mm -hmm. so we built something we handed over uh -huh. within 6 7 months each of the facility was ready and uh -huh. we started functioning we had dr ratwood and his team uh -huh. so there are many people involved there is a pr person okay there is a there is a marketing guy dedicated dedicated people yes. you have yes so there is a whole team under leadership of dr ratwood uh -huh. they they tell the management uh -huh. management or the owner what are what should be the road map for uh -huh. the next month uh -huh. as simple as that right right, right. and as a frequent visit to the same premises checking all the situations facilities what are type of manpower one doctor has employed what are the qualities of those manpower let's say example of nurses mm -hmm. are they trained enough okay what are the given guidelines in national accreditation body of hospital bureau of hospital nabh mm -hmm. what are the nitty gritties one has to follow right right are the staff trained enough to function in a particular manner mm -hmm. the particular special are the staff ready uh -huh. if not who should come and train them mm -hmm. so it is like hand holding of a management right. with an expert available mm -hmm. to chart out the next line of action for next quarter or, or say next month okay so that is happening and that is happening successfully we will be happy to tell you that all the facilities that we have built and handed over are functioning very well mm -hmm. and they are looking for expansion okay what best one can expect right right yes i think with that positive note uh, we can uh, wrap our show uh, but uh, what i can uh, you know do uh, the best for healthcare community is that I will uh, mention your contact details in the description. So thank you. Uh, they can reach out very easily. With a thank you note to Venkatesh sir, please subscribe to the Venkatesh show. It is intended and designed to share more knowledge. Right, right. It is intended to inspire many people. Yes. He himself is a remarkable person. I would like to mention. Thank you, thank you. And uh, please subscribe. and you'll definitely get something out of it yes thank you thank you